Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm going to do uh, a video on this newest Jultif uh, setup test bed I made. It is especially for Jultif uh, circuitry from 3 volts and below. I'm uh, going to start it up. Switch on for this meter. Switch over here. It is running now on 100 microamps and of course the lights is not much that's more than normal but there is some light the voltage in that capacitor it is a 10 farad capacitor is around two and a half volts this meter over here is a 50 microamps but I'm gonna replace that with a uh, 100 milliamps meter because I like to work in the range of 30 milliamps and below and this part is not special it's just for me to slide it down under my workbench there's all the reason for it and below here there's nothing special let me tune it a little bit I'm gonna tune it at the bottom of course I will go from 100 microamps to almost 1 milliamp. Yeah, almost there. Yeah, 1 milliamp. The light is now much better, which is more than normal. The transistor over there is a uh, 2N2222. One more thing, also the resistor over here, where, you, where my nail is, everything underneath my thumb now are not in the system they are just a resistor so I can switch with that one over there that is in the system just to change different value and see the effect of it uh, I have there a uh, 0.01 UF capacitor without the capacitor it uses more energy and the light is uh, dimmer so the capacitor in there is a must I have here a uh, 1 million resistance uh, pot, a uh, white LED a switch, and over here I have a uh, small uh, closed core inductor wound myself. It is two wires, uh, don't know how many turns. I just wound the bobbin full, and that's about it. Center tapped it. And uh, like a basic Jultif, and it works pretty good. Uh, I must say the pot core is more efficient than uh, the normal air core I use, so yeah, it's not bad. And over here at this side, I have uh, two wires coming from negative and a positive of the capacitor. And the reason for that is gonna place over here battery holders for AA battery next to it for AAA battery and next to that for 9 volt batteries but uh, used batteries so can you use an all I have uh, I can find a lot of those battery over here used and the dead ones but they will be perfect for running this light over here so I got some free lights. When I get those holders in the mail, I will put them in place and of course make an update on it. So two and a half volts on yeah one milliamps. Here's a light in the dark. Gonna shine it on the wall so you can see what I mean. There you can see my uh, Stanley knife. The yellow color of it go even lower you can see a little uh, piece of paper I have over there yellow paper with some drawing on it so yeah in the dark it is pretty intense light not bad for one milliamp draw at two and a half volts there's the light itself yeah
So now I'm waiting for that 100 million meter and the battery holders. And I'm gonna then we'll make another update on it. It's working pretty good, pretty happy with it. I also tested other types of MPN transistor like the MPSA 18, the BC33725 and also the BC547 but I didn't see any difference in all those transistors so uh, that's why I'm still using the 2N2222 okie dokie hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching